Boys, here we are, MTV interviewing NWA about Straight Outta Compton. 25 years ago when it came out, we refused to play videos. Yeah. So I just want to clear the air. Are we we good? We... Yeah, you know, uh, thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I just wanted to clear the air, but you know, now we can start, right? Yeah, no doubt, no yeah. doubt, no doubt. So great movie, great Thank action, you. great direction, great acting. Thank you. How do you guys think you got it so right when so many biopics get it wrong? Man, you know, we we have some great talent. You know, you you put me, Dr. Dre, Gary Gray in the room together, and we've been making classics from day one. The movie was in the best possible hands to be, you know, to come out like it like it has. What do you think of some of the best biopics out there? Um, well, I like Straight Outta Compton. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been a fan of Ray always. Yeah, yeah. You know, that that's a yeah. that's a hitter right there. Um, Walk the Line, are, I like Walk, walk the Line. The line. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Phoenix, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk, yeah, the, yeah. Line walk the Line is good. What about uh, the worst ones? Uh, there's man. been a couple of bad Michael Jacksons out there, but I'm, oh no, I like the I like the, the original. TV. I like, the I like that. Right? That was good, right? But the dope, later yeah, one that, was yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Alexandra Ship. That's my wife. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she, uh, you know, wasn't your fault, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now I know a lot of people would have asked you what advice your dad gave you, you know, when playing him. But what about your mom? What sort of advice did she give you? Oh, she knew I had it. You know, she uh, she was really my my fire during the auditioning process. You yeah. know that uh, nobody can really nobody who, who's going to do this better than you. Who can bring something to the table that you can't? And you know, um, she let me know I'm the champ. You know, she yeah. she she pumps me up. You know, your dad's had a huge career in film, so you see how well you know your dad's movies. So I'm going to say a line, and then you say the line that comes after. Okay? Oh, <clears throat> all right, all right. Can't we just have one night where there ain't no fighting and no one gets shot? Boys and those from boys. Yeah, and right. hey, what do you say? Uh, shut up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. All right, next one. <clears throat> Who the fuck you go to the show with last night? My sister, cousin, friend. Don't. My <laughs> sister, my baby, cousin, Tracy. You went to show last night. Your sister, my baby, cousin, Tracy. Goddamn lot. Yeah, right. All right, next one. Uh, you scary as hell. You bony. You probably only gonna make you enough to get you a Honda Civic. Is that Players Club? Yep, that's the yeah, one. But what's the? I don't know. What's after that though? Close legs, don't get fed, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I like this game. Yeah, no. But jokes aside, jokes aside. The movie, you know, the themes in it are very timely. You know, yeah. uh, police brutality is just as relevant today as it was back then. Yeah. Do you guys think there's been any progress, or? I think by the people. You know, the people are putting them up on, on social media, you know what I mean? It's all mm. about public shame. Uh, it's, some, it's some prosecutors now that's starting to, to, to prosecute these dudes and put them on trial. And, mm. you know, we're getting closer and closer to a day when people realize that, you know, police break the law too, you know, every day. You know what I mean? Uh, so we got to make sure that, that, you know, they stay on the right side of the law. You know, it's really on society to always put pressure on police officers to do the right thing. Mm. NWO was such a great voice, you know, for young people back then. So whose music today do you think speaks and is a voice for the black struggle? Uh, man, you know, it's like, it's people like J. Cole that's out there, Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I still do music. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? I, I, I ain't went away. And, uh, you know, it's a few people out there that's doing it. But it's it's really the artist. It should be in your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, you shouldn't do it because you think you should do it. You should do it because it's really something you want to say, and it's something you want to push. Because for the most part, you know, hip hop is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, you know, really just, you know, celebrating life. Mm -hmm. And and you know, and sometimes it could be, you know, a source of information. But it's the artist. It's really at their discretion, whether they want to do that or not. And that's what makes everyone connect to it, right? Yeah. yeah so it's real. You've had an amazing career in film. Mm. Uh, Dr. Dre has had you know, an amazing career in producing, and now he's an entrepreneur and all that. What do you think Easy e would be doing if he was still alive? He'd probably be producing movies. You know, he was always going to be creative. He was always going to find a way to, to land on his feet. When he died, he had Bone Thugs and Harmony at, you know, they was at the top of the charts. And I just think he would would have morphed into something just like we had. Cool. I got one more game for you, because I know you like that game. 
straight out of memes. Yeah, I've like, been yeah. going crazy, right? So I'm just going to show you a couple, and then after that, you're going to guess them. So. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you like that one? Uh, oh! <laughs> straight out of pills. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Like yeah. Pretty loose. Yeah. Like that one. <laughs> What's this one right here? Oh, oh, that's the NAACP way. Straight out of... I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Milk. (laughs) Damn. That's bad. And of course... Milk. Straight out of milk. Straight out of milk. Thank you so much for that.